What's going on everybody? Corey here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Project Spartan. Project Spartan is Microsoft's newest browser and it is supposed to replace Internet Explorer and fix many problems that many people have with that browser. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump right into the tour. Alright guys, so here you can see that we have the Windows 10 technical preview up and running. This is build number 10049, as you can see here. And the first thing that I can tell you guys about this build is that it takes an extremely long amount of time to install. The download itself only took about two to three minutes, but the install took nearly two hours. So if you plan on updating your main machine, make sure that you don't plan on using it for at least two or three hours. With that out of the way, let's see what Project Spartan is all about. You'll see Project Spartan located in your taskbar, and it is this globe icon. So let's go ahead and click on that. And there it is. Let's go ahead and maximize it. And the first thing that you're going to notice about Project Spartan is that it has a completely different UI when compared to Internet Explorer, which you can see here. So in the upper taskbar, you will find a star icon that allows you to add a website to your favorites or your reading list. And to the right of that, you have where you can access your favorites, reading list, history, and your downloads. To the right of that, you have the ability to make a web note. And to the right of that, you have the ability to give Microsoft feedback for Project Spartan. Reading View is currently unavailable on most websites, although Microsoft plans to add more support at a future date. Functionally, you can compare it to the Reading View in Apple's Safari browser. Another key feature to Project Spartan is the ability to annotate web pages. Microsoft is calling this feature inking. To access the inking feature, you can click on the icon that looks like a pencil on a piece of paper. As you can see, this gives you the ability to draw, to highlight, and do other features that you might need in a note-taking app. You can even save these to your favorites or your reading list, and you can also share these to a friend, which this feature is not really available right now, but Microsoft does plan on adding this in the full update later. Adding Cortana in Project Spartan was also a big deal in this update. With Cortana in Spartan, you can now do things like check for your weather in your area without having to go to a particular web page. Although it's not noticeable yet, Microsoft is promising a better rendering engine in Project Spartan when compared to Internet Explorer. This is important because one of the reasons Internet Explorer lagged behind some of its competition like Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox is because of its poor rendering engine. Well guys, that was a quick look at Project Spartan. Be sure to update your system at home so you can give it a try for yourself. That's going to do it all for today. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video or hit that like button. It really does help out. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.